Welcome back to Minnesota State Track and Field Programs produced national champions on a perennial basis. We spoke with assistant coach Chris Parno to see how the staff approaches each season. It feels like we're always talking about Minnesota State women's track and field program near the tops of the nation, whether it be indoor, outdoor season, the men as well. Mm -hmm. How is this entire coaching staff been able to really go out and acquire the pieces that it takes to stay a uh, national contender each year? Because I'm sure uh, some people around the community may be taking yeah. this run for granted. No, I mean, it takes uh, it takes a lot. And, you know, you got to start planning two years down the road, three years down the road as certain classes start to graduate. And, um, you know, initially this is year 11 for me. It was just about building it. You know, we had to get kind of that first class in and then build on that and build on that and build on that. Um, and then obviously the transfer portal has been good to us as well. I mean, we're a school that's pretty easy to transfer into as far as major and opportunities and cost and all that kind of stuff. So uh, the school's done a good job with the you know, facilities. We have everything we need as far as training wise. And, you know, really it's just uh, long term planning and a lot of hard work, a lot of communication, a lot of uh, getting the name out there and just, um, you know, for every 10, 15, 20 calls, you might get one or two of them. And, it's, it's all worth it, though, if you get the right ones, you know. So, obviously, we're going to graduate some pretty big-time people, but we already have kind of that next crew that's here, and then, obviously, some new pieces coming in that will be definitely very exciting. So, NSIC championships coming up in just a couple of weeks. What do you expect out of this group? Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the championship season, obviously, so we're, you know, rested, ready to go. Um, you know, these kind of last two weeks leading into now, it's just let's feel fresh, let's, uh, you know, feel ready and just be ready to compete. Um, so I'm excited about it. It's going to be on our home track for the first time, and our track is definitely very fast. Um, be nice not to travel for the first time for a conference meet. Um, weather's looking like it's going to be pretty nice. Uh, give us some good wins and all that stuff, too. So um, I expect more of what it's usually been, more of the same. Um, you know, I think both teams can easily, you know, be at the top and take those championships home. But just got to take it one race at a time, one day at a time. And, um, yeah, you know, you always look back on a conference and you're like, man, I wasn't expecting this performance or that or this one. So uh, you just got to get everybody there ready to roll and ready to compete. What does the training look like when you mention championship season for some of these athletes? You know, it's just it's not much at this point, which is kind of nice. Uh, the focus the last really three or four weeks has been on competing. So then, you know, getting back into town, getting back from the beat, um, you know, it's usually followed up by a couple recovery days and kind of get back, get, get ready to go for the next meet. Um, you know, like I said earlier, it's 36 weeks, so we've knocked out a lot of training at this point and we've progressed a lot to this point. You know, we can gain a little bit, but it's going to be more so from rest and feeling rested and recovered versus, oh, we need to get these last hard workouts in or this and that. You know, the the uh, meets take care of it, especially someone like Denisha who ran six races down in Drake over two days. You know, it's a heck of a workout. Um, so we don't need to come back and just hammer workouts. You know, today she's just going to get some movement going and uh, we're going to race again tomorrow and try to hit that standard again. So. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining yeah, me. Yeah, of course.